Greetings YouTube. As I've mentioned in the past, past, I work in a factory. In fact, I have worked in manufacturing for almost 30 years. Um, come this September, it will be 30 years. Uh, a number of different locations and a number of different industries. And in that time, I'm just going to use 30 for a nice round number, I have seen two OSHA inspectors. OSHA is the Occupational Safety Health and Health Act of 1970. Um, and it is an organization, an agency, whose job it is is to make sure that people like myself are safe, to make sure that my work environment is following guidelines so that reducing the possibility of injury to the smallest amount possible. It's not possible to be perfectly safe, but it is possible to reduce some of the really gross negligence that existed in the world, and still does, um, in an effort to make a profit in manufacturing. Um, there are approximately 2,200 uh, OSHA um, inspectors in the United States of America for a population of 312 million. However, an international workers organization has done a study and realized that to have a number of inspectors to actually cover the United States, you'd need 13,000, which we don't have. Now, I found that interesting because I would often say in conversation that I think we need 10 times as many inspectors as we have. So I was off slightly. We don't need 10 times as many. We don't need 22,000. We need around 14 um, to round it up, um, which is, you know, six times more than we actually have. Um, in fact, I would advocate not only, and I know there are people who hate the way I say that word, and I apologize. Um, I advocate that we... Uh, not only have more inspectors, but the inspectors be given law enforcement powers and that fines levied against factories and the corporations that own them that fail to meet safety standards are a percentage of gross worth and not a flat fine. That you don't say, okay, this is a thousand dollar fine because, you know, corporation, that's a rounding error for that day's profit. No, I want a percentage of their gross worth you put an employee's life at risk, we hit you like a fist from an angry god. We make sure we hit you the one place you care about more than anything in the world, your pocket. And then maybe we'll have safety um, standards being enforced. Now, I work for a co company that takes it very seriously. I'm on the safety committee. I make sure that things are safe. I point out things that are not safe. I stop people in the aisle if they're doing something not safe. Hey, excuse me, you're moving that rack incorrectly. Oh, by the way, where are your safety glasses? Hey, you're in an area you're supposed to have earplugs. Why aren't you wearing them? These are the things I do on a daily basis. Hey, man, you're not supposed to be lifting that way. You can't carry anything higher than your so shoulder. I do that stuff every day. I also do things like turn off fans and lights every day so we save power because I'd like to reduce our carbon footprint. I'm not really concerned about saving the company money. Um, and I think it's very important that we have these kind of safety features. But we need more inspectors and we need to make sure that there is an atmosphere and a culture of safety in America that doesn't exist. We also need to make sure that workers are co of more concern to the government than the corporate owners. But that isn't going to happen anytime soon, now, is it? Um, there was a comment in this uh, thread I'm going to link to, um, which deals with uh, this particular issue, and I thought it was rather well done. It was by Lupus Yonderboy. It said, because the U.S. legal system is profoundly broken and neither political party has the slightest incentive to change it. The brokenness favors the 1% and a large block of the rest of America is convinced that if you use the words worker and rights in the same paragraph, that you're a communist. Forget about union. If there's a D in the White House, things will be a little less bad, and if, it, if an R, a little more bad. But the trend is um, monotonologically in the bad for workers in America, and neither side wants to change it. That ain't, ain't that right. OSHA is part of the Department of Labor, whose $12 billion budget compares badly to the Defense Department's $687 billion budget, or the $68.9 billion to fund homeland security activities. In other words, the United States considers waging war to be 50 times as important as supporting workers, says it all. And I have to agree with the person. We spend way more money on killing brown people than we do concerned about our own people here at home. 
Um, and no, I'm not abdicating uh, isolationism, but I am abdicating uh, making sure that we take care of our own citizens. So tell me, do any of you work in environments that are dangerous? Um, do you work in factories? Do you work in kitchens? Do you work in uh, inst installing uh, equipment? Do you work high on poles, installing cable or electrical uh, systems? Do you work in plumbing? I had known people who've worked all of these industries and have been put at risk because of it. I know people who have, have been injured. I know people that know individuals that worked with people who died because they worked in, in, in industries like this. Um, we've had people at my company lose limbs. Uh, we've had people uh, be injured and have been out of work for over a year because of those injuries. It's serious and we don't take it seriously in America because worker rights is considered a, a foul phrase. It is considered a swear in America and it shouldn't. It shouldn't at all because we, the workers, create the wealth in this nation and we should be safe.